Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. Now today we're doing an idea which I saw in the comments yesterday and it immediately sparked my attention because a long, 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 long time ago for my 400 subscriber special, I think I did, yeah, it was what if every planet had Saturn's rings and I did a bunch of other stuff as well, but... In yesterday's comments, I saw what if every planet had Uranus's rings. So, yeah, I remember I was I was meant to do this quite a while ago, like a really long time ago, when I had 400 subscribers, but I never did it. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, I've got to do that now. So yeah, I saw the comment, and here we are. So today we're going to be adding Uranus's rings to all of the planets, and I'm going to count the dwarf planets as well because typically I, I think Pluto should be a planet. So yeah, and we'll do Eris as well, Sedna. And then we'll do Planet 9, because they're like the main ones I know, so... Oh yeah, Planet 9's a planet anyway, so... Yeah, we'll do that. But yeah, anyways... Yeah, before I um, get started as well, guys, just many, many thanks to uh, all the nice comments yesterday, because, uh, like I said, I wasn't feeling well recently, and, yeah, there's some nice support comments, um, or nice supportive comments, I should say, so... Yeah, many, many thanks for that, and I'm back on track now. I'm feeling fine, so... Yeah. Yeah, thanks for all the um, positivity, and also thanks to everyone who subscribed recently. We're still rising up night very quickly, so yeah, let's keep that up, and let's try and get to 1.4. But anyways, let's get into this. So, we're going to add Uranus's rings to Mercury here to begin with, so let's go and do that. And they should be here, where are they? Oh yeah, I forgot. Look, the rings are very large, aren't they? So, yeah, there we go. You can now see the rings of Uranus are now on Mercury, so... Just about seeing that. Let's add it. Let's actually add them twice just so we can see it a little easier. So, there you go. You can pretty much see it there. So, there's Mercury. So, we're going to go out from there. Then, we're going to head to Venus. And let's do the same here. So, let's go and do that and get the means of Uranus again and do add two sets of rings. So, there we go. You can see it around Venus looking pretty cool. Where's Earth? Oh, we'll add the moon in around Earth as well just to see what it would be like from the moon's perspective. So, Let's go and do one and then two like that. So we've added it in twice. Then we're going to add the moon in. So let's get you. Oh, dang it. We can't. Um, <laughs> wait. Let me just. Um, let me just add the moon in manually. I don't really know the distance of how far away the moon is. So I'm just going to estimate it's around here somewhere, maybe. I, I, I honestly don't know. But if I just go here, that that looks about right, I'd say. It's not, it's not going to be completely perfect. But I know from the moon Earth's something around that size so we'll get a decent um we'll get a decent look of what earth will look like with rings so you can just get a briefly look at it there but yeah we'll check it out more later so there's that mars we're gonna head to you next so let's go and do that and then we're gonna get the rings again so let's um do this and why is that only moon all right let me just do that and we've got um uranus rings so there we go one and then two again looking good Oh, that, that does look really cool. All right, next up, we're getting to the bigger planets now. So this could be interesting because Jupiter and Saturn are a lot bigger. So will the rings even work? Or will they just be engulfed by the planet straight away? So we'll just hit play here. So if we just slow this down. If we hit add ring. Yeah, look, a lot of them have just crashed in. Like, if we add it again, you can just see they're all crashing into Jupiter. Look at this. It's so small. That's, that's pretty funny. And then Saturn, I'm guessing we're going to have the same problem. So let's go here. The Saturn's also very large, so there you go, you can see... Okay, it's not as bad with Saturn, but you can barely see the rings there. And then now we'll go to Uranus. Well, we already know what Uranus looks like with the rings, but... Remember, this is my custom Uranus, so let's get a little look with that with the rings. So the nice light blue... This is what Uranus should look like, not the um, default one in the game, because that's wrong. So add one and then two, so you can just see the rings there. And we'll go on an all-black background as well, so we can really see the rings. So, there you go. You can see them a lot easier there now. Actually, because it's Uranus, we'll add a little more in, because it is its rings. So, there you go. You can see them a little easier with Uranus. But, yeah, looking good. So, I like that. Oh, I really love the custom Uranus. I'm so glad that planet turned out the way it did. Um, Neptune. I've got this one over here. So, let's go here. And let's add Uranus's rings to Neptune. So, it's quite a similar look to Uranus, honestly, because it's pretty much the same size so that's looking good all right next up we're gonna to head to pluto for this one so i'm gonna go all the way down here and i know this is the wrong size so we're gonna quickly yeah we'll add in a um a new pluto because for some reason whenever i when i have open save simulations for some reason pluto gets a little smaller as you can see here which is really really annoying but I'm just gonna go and do that delete the old one then do the new one we'll press auto orbit so it goes around the sun so there you go you can see that then we can add the moons to Pluto. Then we're going to add the rings. So, okay, we've got Carol now and all the other guys. So now we're going to go and do the moons of or the Uranus rings. Add them in. And they should... Yeah, they're there. You can just about see them. It's quite dark here. So we'll have to go on flashlight mode so we can actually see it. But yeah, there you go. So you can see the rings are there. 
Next up, we're going to go to Iris. Well, Iris will be pretty basic since it is, it's just been pretty much the same as this. So, yeah, we'll go there anyway. Why not? So, let's go to you. And we'll just add a set of rings in, as you can see that. Not very... Not the most um, cool-looking system, I have to say. And then... Uh, we don't need to do Sedna, because it'll be the same as Iris. Just a little smaller. So, Planet 9. We'll also add these in. So, there we go. So, they look pretty good around Planet 9, actually. So, there we are. So now if we go back in realistic mode, you won't be able to see any of it. Because maybe Planet 9 does have rings. Maybe, like, if it exists, maybe it does have rings. You never know, because we can barely spot Planet 9, let alone little tiny little rings around it. So, yeah, we could barely spot Neptune's rings at first. So, yeah, if you didn't know, Neptune has, like, some faint rings around it called ring arcs. They're, like, incomplete segments of a ring, I believe. So, yeah, they were quite hard to spot. Um, but someone did... Uh, I think it was captured from Voyager 2. I wish we could return to... Um, Uranus and Neptune one day, or, or in our lifetimes, because that would be awesome. Get some high detail images of Neptune, that would just be awesome. Love the colour, like my favourite planet, love it. But anyways, let's go out and check the planets. So if you want a quick comparison here, so here we go. All of the planets with Uranus's rings. So we've got Jupiter here, as you can see, they're just, like, that is it. <laughs> Look at that. Then we've got Saturn here, similar problem with Jupiter. Then we've got Uranus, then we've got Neptune, Planet 9 there. It's a bit of a mess, but you can pretty much see them. We've got Earth, Venus, Mars, and all the other ones. So you can see quite a big mishmash of rings there. But this is going to be interesting. So Mercury, let's go and head to you. Oh, this is looking cool, actually. So that's quite nice. So we'll, yeah, we'll disable all this. And we'll disable that as well. So here is Mercury with the rings of Uranus. So they are slightly changing i'm guessing that's because like, you can see the shapes change i'm guessing because that's too close to the sun the sun's pulling away or dragging away some of the material from the rings so yeah mercury's losing a bit of the rings but yeah there's that venus i'm guessing is oh, there's venus so let's go to you it's just cool we can transfer from planet to planet like that so here's venus so quite a basic um look like mercury as well because simply it's it's pretty much the same thing it's just a little bit bigger so as you can see here the rings seem to be working around venus a lot more so let's just go back to mercury quick i'm guessing they're going to get completely torn apart yeah you can see here yeah those rings are really not lasting well as you can see there they're all just getting torn up i'm guessing that's the sun i'm sure that's the sun doing that so next up is earth so let's go down to you let's have a look here so what's going on at earth so here's good old earth oh it looks cool with the rings so where's the moon actually maybe i put the moon too far away I don't know. Let's just check the orbit quick. Yeah, maybe we have to do it a little closer. I don't know. I don't know the right... I don't know the distance of the moon. Something like that, maybe? I don't know. It, lo it looks about right from the moon's perspective. Like that, that looks fairly correct, if you ask me. So, okay. That's looking good. So, if we... um, Actually, let's move the moon around a bit so we can get the Earth from the front or side view. So, let's go all the way around here. As you can see... Okay, that looks good. So, let's do that. So... Actually, wait, what am I doing? Wait. The moon orbits the Earth every month. So that means it's about 30 days. Its orbit should be 30 days. Not 101. It should be 30, right? Like, is that... I think that's right. There we go. That's what it should be. I know it's not entirely accurate, but one month is 30 days. The moon goes around the Earth about every month. So, yeah, that, that, that's what it should look like. So now we can get a real good look of what it would actually look like. So let's land on the moon here. So you can see there's the surface of the moon, the sun, all the other planets. But if we look um, down here and look up, there is the Earth with the rings of Uranus. So it's quite a nice thing to look at that. That's cool. The rings really add the effect around Earth. Especially when you've seen it from the moon. Like, and, and Earth will just look cool with rings anyway. But yeah, look at that. Let's just get a flashlight mode so we can see the surface of the moon here. So that's looking cool. I really like that. So now let's go and see the... Or land on the surface of Earth. So... Let's land in the United Kingdom, where I am right now, so let's land somewhere here. Okay, we're going in um, south of Ireland, actually, in the ocean, it looks like, so... Right, where are the rings? So if we look up, we should see a giant line of them, yeah, you can see them there. So, the clouds would, obviously, because these objects are very, very small, the rings, the clouds probably would phase them out a bit, but just for the purpose of this video, let's hide the clouds, like that. So now you can really see the rings. Let's go on flashlight mode so you can see them as best as you can. So you can see them coming up from the horizon there. And you can just see them just spinning around. So that's pretty cool. Nice blue earth as well. That's, that's cool actually. I like that. It looks good. See the rings 
can, you can see him a lot of the little or the ones closer is spinning a lot faster than the ones further away obviously because they're closer this they um, go faster and you got the moon mixed in the or the moon in the mix as well as you can see there it's a moon a lot more stuff in the night sky to look at now so that's that's pretty cool so let's um, go out from the surface of earth whoa spinny so let's do that so yeah I, I really like how earth turned out okay Mars let's see what's um, up with Mars so over here now so pretty much the same as Mercury and Venus and probably Earth as well it's just a little planet with a giant ring system around it so looking good I don't know if they really suit Mars I don't think rings in general would suit Mars I think Mars looks better just by itself the other rings could add some cool touches I guess um next up Ju okay so Jupiter remember you saw it earlier it's probably yeah look at this <laughs> look at these little rings even Jupiter's rings are a lot further out than this like like if we just add Jupiter's rings in just to compare it, we could do what if every planet had Jupiter's rings if you want me. Yeah, there's Jupiter's rings, so you can see they're a lot further out. Yeah, if you guys want that, just say, yeah, what if every planet had Jupiter's rings, I can make a video on that as well. But yeah, look at that. So yeah, Jupiter has a lot more material in the rings as well, it looks like. Yeah, so the rings of Uranus around Jupiter, they're really, they're, they don't really do much. And then obviously with Saturn, we'll have the same problem. So let's go to you. Let's go all the way here. So... Look at this. It looks so stupid with like, the little ring system around it. Oh, it looks really weird. Yeah, so there's um, rings of oh, rings of Uranus around Saturn. So very, very basic, sort of. Pretty much exactly the same as Jupiter there. So, yeah, not, not much to look up here. Next up, we've got Uranus. So the planet where these rings are from anyway. So, oh, Uranus looks really good with the rings. So, yeah, there's... um, oh, Let's go to studio. So there you go. There's Uranus with the um, rings of Uranus. So the it just looks so good. Like the custom Uranus, I'm I'm so proud of it. Like it just the color looks like spot on compared to like the real life Uranus. So yeah, if you didn't see the video on where I made it, um, the custom Uranus, go back and watch it. But yeah, this this looks the, the custom color on that just looks so much better than the um. <coughs> oops, excuse me. <laughs> I'm just get a drink. <coughs> Okay, that's better. So yeah, the custom Uranus just looks so much better than the regular Uranus here. Like, this just doesn't look right. Like, if you look at a picture of Uranus on Google Images, it, you'll get a lot lighter blue than this. This looks like Neptune almost, like the colour of that. So that's wrong. This is this is the true look for Uranus. It's awesome. I love it. Anyways, next up we've got Neptune. Oh, whoa, what's happened here? Oh, they look weird. I think it's because I'm on some studio mode. Let's go back to realistic mode. Reopen the menu and it should fix it. Okay, now, now they're all just shadows of the planets pretty much. So the nighttime side. So here is Neptune. Oh, I thought Uranus looked good, but this. Oh, that looks great. Oh, that the rings of you because Neptune's a similar size to Uranus, and just because Neptune's a nicer color overall, that looks amazing. Look at that. That just looks awesome. I really like that. Wow, that that does look good. Wait, can we add Triton in here? Let's get the custom Triton quick. We have gotta have a good look at this. So. Hmm, how are we going to add this in? Let's just do it there, maybe. I don't know the distance of Triton, so... Okay, so if we go to Triton here, so um, go on the surface, the custom Triton we made yesterday, and have a little look around, so where is our beautiful Neptune? So you can see it there, not really the best view, actually. Can we move Triton quick? Let's move it around. Let's... Wait, can we actually do it when we're on the surface? I've never done this, I don't think. So, can we? Wait, motion. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can't move the... If we're on the surface of the object, we can't move it. Okay, that's a little weird. Oh, is it? oh, we need to hit play, I guess. Right, now it should work, so... There we go. Alright, so we can move it around. So where is Neptune? Neptune? Where, where are you? Um, hello? Anything? It's just pitch black. There it is. Okay, so let's go around this way. Like that. Now that's, gonna, that's a good view. Look at that. A little further, maybe. Alright, here. So we've got to land on the surface of Triton here. Have a little look around. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. The rings just add so much to it. Like, it just looks so much better like that. There goes a lightened up view, but... Oh, it looks so good. I love it. That, that looks awesome. Look at that, the nice bl dark blue. You can see the faint rings on the outside there. That looks really nice. I really like that. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, tell me, at the, um, tell me in the comments which planet looks the best with Uranus's rings apart from Uranus. Actually, you could say Uranus as well. Actually, yeah, any planet you want. Which one looks the best with the rings of Uranus? You also know what my answer is, because Neptune. Oh, it just looks... That looks great. I think that looks really, really good. <laughs> Look at that. I, I really like that. All right, so there's that. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's go quick back and check on Mercury. Oh, the rings are still... 
sort of intact, but they sort of spread out. Okay, so anyways, Pluto. Let's go and check you out. So here's Pluto over here. So we've got all of Pluto's moons in here as well. So here we go. Oh, wow, it's really dark here. So let's go to studio mode just so we can see. So there's Charon. Rings of Pluto are really... Or the, I, I think that's Charon probably doing that because it is a double planet system after all, so the rings probably wouldn't work very well, but... There you go, and then you can see the other moons of Pluto, they're just inside the asteroids there, but... Okay, here we go, so... From Charon, you can't really see the rings at all, to be honest. So let's just go around to the correct part where you can actually see the rings. So let's go here. Now let's um, go to realistic mode, and then let's go on the top of it. So, here we go. So can we see good old Pluto? Hello, Pluto? Wait, where are you at? Let's just go on... Flashlight, where are you at? Oh, there, there, there it is! Whoops, so there's, there it is. So, from Charon, you really can't see the rings at all. Like, it's just so dark here. You can, you literally can barely see them. Like, if I just pause it there, you can see some faint rings here. But that's it. You can't really see anything. So if we go on Studio, there you can see that they're there. So the rings are there. But it's just they're very, very, very faint. And it's, it's so far away from the sun, they're not really receiving much light anyway. So, yeah, there's good old Pluto from Charon as well. So, nice view there. Pluto's probably one of the worst with um, these rings, honestly, because so the moon system would muck it up, but yeah, there's that. And if you're wondering why I didn't add the moons to, like, um, Jupiter and Saturn, there's really not much point, because there isn't any rings to look at anyway, so yeah, that's that. Right, can we land on the surface of this? Oh, no, that's one of the moon rings. What am I doing? I want to land on Nyx or Hydra or something. Okay, where's, where's Hydra? Let's land on that. Hydra, where are you at? Oh, there it is. There, here's Hydra. So let's land on here, just see if we get any better views. So let's land on this little rock. Only 30 kilometers in radius, eh? Alright, so, here we go. Alright, let's hit play. Can we see anything? So there, there's Pluto and Carol in their binary system. You can see the rings are there as well, as you can see all up around there. So the ring system is bigger than the Pluto system in general. Like, all of, the, all of the moons are pretty much inside the ring system, as you can see here. Except these three over here, they look... Oh, and, and Hydra as well. They're all outside the rings, but, yeah, it's still... The rings probably spanned out at a further distance, I want to say, but I don't know for sure. So, yeah, there's that. Next up, we've got Iris as well. That's pretty much going to be exactly the same as Pluto. Just a little dwarf planet of rings, but they've been untouched because Iris doesn't have any moons in this. So, yeah, there's that. So, you're very, very dark here. You literally can't even see. Like, if we just if we just go on the surface here, right, you can't see those rings at all. Like, we'd have to go on this mode to see them because, yeah, there they are. You can see them there. So, let's just go on realistic. They are invisible. What if we look on the nighttime side, just so... Can we see anything? Oh, you can, you can faintly see it. If we just look... So if you look, just if we go, just go over it here. If you look very carefully, I think you can see it. It's very, very dark here, though. But if we just go on flashlight... There you go, you can see they're there. If we just go on realistic... You can... I can barely see those, and my brightness on my monitor is fairly... I, I, oh, yeah, it's not that high, but you can see them. They are, they are just hidden away there. And then Planet Nine, you already know, it's completely dark here. There, you won't see the rings from Planet Nine because there's no sunlight, but... There you go. That's what it looks like. And some of them are all spread out here. How'd they get out here? Planet Nine, what have you done? Why are they all spread out? But yeah, there's Planet Nine with Uranus's rings. So... Not as cool as Neptune and Uranus, but also it does look pretty nice with the rings. Yeah, I rate that. I think that looks good. Yeah, so there we go, guys. So that is what happens if you add all or add Uranus's rings to all of the planets in the solar system. And before someone asks, add them to the sun. The sun is so large, the rings would be engulfed anyway. Like we can try it. <laughs> like Uranus's rings add to the sun, but they don't add because the rings would be inside the sun because the sun's just so large. Even the same with Saturn's rings. They, they won't add. You'd have to add a whole asteroid belt, you know, to actually have a ring around the sun. So, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure you did hit that like button, subscribe for more. Leave um, a comment down below which of the planets looks best with um, Uranus's rings. Um, wow, they're all spraying everywhere now. Look at this. Yeah, so which, which of the planets looks the best with Uranus's rings? So, uh, Neptune is definitely my choice, but yeah, what, what do you guys think? Yeah, it's pretty good. I think Earth, Earth, Neptune, Uranus. But I think they were the bet te the best ones. Yeah. Earth, Neptune, and Uranus, top three, definitely. But yeah, there we go. So, yeah, make sure you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And actually, yeah, remember, any ideas for another video, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And yeah, there we go. So, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for real.